My name is Tammy Schiebauer. I am a women's support worker uh, currently. Uh, <laughs> um, currently I work in a women's support transition housing. It's an incredible journey. In an average day at the transition house, we can be doing intakes, uh, we can be taking phone calls um, for women who are in crisis and need support. And we could be doing an intake like where we're doing a screening and actually going out and meeting a woman who's fleeing an abusive relationship or is at risk of violence um, and going out and meeting them and seeing if they are a potential um, candidate to come into the housing because it is communal living so you have to take everything into consideration every woman and child who is at the facility because the dynamics can change very quickly. What do I love most about what I do? Making a difference in somebody's life. Um, perhaps being that one person that they've come across in their life that doesn't want to fix it for them who will honestly listen to them and empower them. Uh, help them figure out what tools they have and what tools they need so that they can resolve their own issues. A situation when I felt most particularly challenged, uh, when I have my own personal stuff going on. Uh, sometimes it's, it's really hard to be able to separate it, um, you know, because life happens and we're human and working in human services. So it's important to be able to leave your own stuff at the door. And if you can't, be really honest about it and take the time that you need so that you can take care of your business and come back so that you can be there for that person 100%. Check your own baggage first. Uh, it's really difficult to, to support somebody else when you've got your own things going on. Be sure that you know how to empower somebody and um, not do the work for them. Um, volunteer. Do lots of volunteering in all kinds of different areas to figure out what, what it's really about to do that job um, and what's a good fit for you, what do you enjoy. You know, I didn't think I'd be in strictly in women's services when I started out. So. Oh, self-care, self-care so, so important. Um, everything from healthy boundaries. You have to have very healthy boundaries. Um, and sometimes that means saying no. Sometimes that means taking a step back. And sometimes that means giving the person an option, including doing that for yourself as well. Self-care can be anything from exercise, proper sleep, proper diet, hooking in with friends, family, uh, anything that you enjoy, but it's important to do it because you can get lost in doing the work that you love and forget about you. You don't have to start big. You don't have to go with the idea, I'm gonna get my degree in social work or in psychology. Start small, you can do one year programs, a certificate program in social service work, two year program in human services uh, diploma. And you can take other little certificates and they all add up and eventually will get you to a degree somewhere, but it, it gives you more choice because once you have a degree in social work, you have a degree in social work. If you stick to begin with with the smaller programs, it keeps the doors open so that you've got some choice later on down the road. What's a good fit for you? What do you enjoy? You know, I didn't think I'd be in strictly in women's services when I started out. I just always wanted to be a helper. Uh, my, my career never started out that as a young adult. Um, and then I just decided, hey, I want to try something different and I want to help people, so I'm just going to, and I did some research on courses that I can take to help me get into the helping profession. Um, I applied, I started going to school, and I made, I made my decisions in my career choices as I needed to make them. Bear in mind that you're not going to get rich being a social worker. It's an industry or it's a profession that you do for love and not for money. Uh, you can make a living, but you're not going to have um, all the riches that other people that you see around you may have. Yeah, and stay humble, really, um, and always be open to learn because you may have lots of answers, but you will learn so much from the people that you help. Um, there are student loans. Um, there's all kinds of free education that you can get out there. You have to be a little bit savvy. Ask around, like when, when you're networking, and doing your volunteer work, you can always ask, hey, I'm interested in learning more. Is there any kind of workshops that I can take? You can learn that way. Um, use the internet, see what you can find online. Um, unfortunately, uh, a lot of it is nonprofit, so money is very tight for funding. Um, but there are, you can get student loans, you can get grants, you can get bursaries, um, but you have to be creative in, in how you find your money, just the same as the organizations that are going to employ you have to get creative for theirs. How do you network with, when you first start out, volunteer work? 
get involved. Um, like I said, this is a profession you do for love and not for money. So to begin with, do it for free. Um, and you meet people along the way. Um, get involved in any sort of events that are going on that have to do with any field that of interest to you, whether it's uh, mental health day, um, recovery day, um, volunteer, put in, put in some time, you meet people. And through your activities um, and, and giving back to your community, you meet other people, your name gets out there, you get introduced to other people. So really just make sure you put yourself out there and that's how you're gonna network. Um, off for certification that I found incredibly useful, um, social service worker certificate. It was one year easy commitment, but it covered a, the huge, like a huge spectrum of um, the social work field. Um, so lots of experience in little areas to help um, hone in on where I really wanted to be in in the field. Um, then moving on to two year human services diploma, it gets a little bit more specialized. Um, and along the way, there's always workshops, um, you know, one day classes, webinars that you can take part of. They all matter. It's all education and it's all experience and it's all relevant. Well, I can start out from my own experience in, um, with the education that I have uh, in all the areas that I've worked in. Um, I have been a crisis line volunteer. Um, I have worked in homeless shelters, um, that high, both high barrier and low barrier that have um, alcohol and addictions programs attached to it, plus transitional housing. Um, I have ran three crisis lines um, as a volunteer coordinator. That means recruiting, training, all of that. Um, I've worked in a mental health facility that um, how a residential that houses um, persons with mental illness as well as addiction issues uh, and now I'm working in women's transitional housing uh, supporting women so you can do mental health addictions uh, transient population uh, women's support um, you can get into um, any kind of cultural support, you can take that avenue. You can work with persons with disabilities. Um, you can be a community inclusion worker. Uh, really, it's it's limitless what you can do. It really is. Um, I think the hardest part about it is picking what you want to do. <laughs> uh, did I have an aha moment where I'm like, ah, oh, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? No. I'm going to say no. Um, I just always wanted to to be a helper. Uh, my, my career never started out that as a young adult. Um, and then I just decided, hey, I want to try something different and I want to help people. So I'm just going to, and I did some research on courses that I can take to help me get into the helping profession. Um, I applied, I started going to school and I made, dis I made my decisions and my career choices as I needed to make them. Uh, the rewards of the job? Really, they're endless. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel good about what I've done, you know? I've made a difference in somebody's life. Um, no matter how small it is, no matter if they're gonna remember it in 10 years from now or 10 minutes from the time I left them, it's, I had a positive impact on somebody's life, you know? Um, and that's really rewarding in itself. Um, but it's an incredible feeling when you've done work with somebody, um, with a client and, you know, and, and they've left and you've always wondered, gosh, I wonder whatever happened to them. And they come back and you see them and they have done a complete 180. They are so different and just amazing and successful and confident. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs>